Okay, Island Biogeography Part 5. This last uh, model is called the Passive Sampling Model, and it uses summation notation. So, imagine we have K islands. So we have, we could have 5, we could have 10. K is the number of islands we have. And each one has an area, A sub I, okay? And then we have S number of species. And each species has an abundance n sub j. Okay, now a would be the sum of all island areas. And we would write that like this. a equals the sum from i equals 1 to k of all a sub i's. And if we wanted to figure out what the relative area of each island was, we could then take every, we'll call that x sub i, would be every a sub i divided by a, the big A. Okay, then if we wanted to add up all of those x sub i's, we would get the sum from i equals 1 to k of every x sub i, and that's going to equal 1, okay? x sub i is also the probability that a random individual will intercept an island of size a sub i, which is kind of cool. And we can also work with the probability that, um, that a species might miss an island, and that would be basically one minus x sub i, the probability of a miss. Okay, so then the probability that every, for some species j, the probability that every individual miss, will miss the island would be the probability that species n sub j, all of them miss, would be 1 minus x sub i to the power of n sub j. And the probability that at least one individual makes it. So now the probability that we get species j on the island would equal 1 minus that value. 1 minus 1 minus x sub i to the n sub j. Okay, so then to figure out um, how many species might be on some projected island, we can say there's an, the expected number of species or the expected species richness, E of S sub i, would be the sum from J equals 1 to N of all of those, basically. 1 minus 1 minus x to the uh, sub i to the n sub j. Okay, if you add them all up. So this passive sampling model predicts that an abundant species will have a greater chance of colonizing than a rare species. And so if you were to say get a data set that looked like this, you have species a, species B, species C, species D, and then you have island one, two, three, four. And if you knew the areas, um, so A sub I, oh sorry, all of these would be A sub I's, A sub I. There would be A sub one, area two, area three, area four. So if you knew how big these islands were, and then you had a data set showing the number of species, um, or say say species A, um, on here there's, uh, you know, two individuals, um, one, zero, one, zero, 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 uh, two, one, three, zero, one, zero, two, two, zero. On island, one, there would be one, two, three. Species richness would be three. 
on island two, species richness would be two, this would be three, and there would only be one species on island four. So if you had a data set like this, you could calculate the expected species richness on each of these islands, and then you could compare it to the, the, the true species richness. So that's the passive uh, sampling model for island biogeography.